Payne and welcomes your five minutes with Sea Trade Cruise, your roundup of the week's top stories today brought to you by our sponsor, the Port of Tarragona. Emerald Cruises super yacht Emerald Azura was floated out last weekend at Ha Long Shipbuilding Company in Vietnam. Travellers will be able to sail on the 100 passenger ocean going super yacht when it debuts in January 2022. Scenic Group founder and chairman Glenn Maroney said, Emerald Cruises is building a game changing vessel at a time when small ship experiences are gaining popularity. 88% of its 50 deluxe suites and staterooms have a balcony. Its maiden voyage comprises a Red Sea itinerary. Australia has extended the suspension of its cruise operations and overseas travel for another three months until March 17th. The suspension has been in place since March 18th and was set to cease on December 17th. Health Minister Greg Hunt said that the Australian Health Protection Principal Committee and Commonwealth Chief Medical Officer have advised that the international COVID-19 situation continues to pose an unacceptable public health risk. The Australian government said it is working to develop a framework for the staged presumption of cruising. Clear Australasia's MD Joel Katz welcomed the government's statement and said he looks forward to working with the government to plan a careful revival of the country's five billion Australian dollar a year cruise industry. MSC Cruises is temporarily pausing the operation of MSC Grandiosa later this month. It is also moving the planned restart of MSC Magnifica to January as a result of new travel measures introduced by the Italian government for the Christmas and New Year period. The Italian government has said it will tighten the movement of its residents in the country between December 21st and January 6th in its efforts to combat the pandemic ashore. It will restrict the ability of holidaymakers from abroad to travel to, through and from Italy. MSC Grandiosa will resume its Western Mediterranean cruises on January 10th, 2021 from Genoa. MSC Magnifica, which was due to restart 10 night voyages in the West and East Mediterranean on December 18th, also from Genoa, will now commence its sailing program on January 15th, following the cancellation of three previous sailings. Costa Cruises is suspending Italy operations too from December 20th to January 6th. They will resume on January 7th with a one-week all-Italy itinerary operated by Costa Smeralda. Royal Caribbean International's Voyager of the Seas will become the first Voyager-class ship to operate in the Baltic. Its inaugural Northern Europe season comprises up to 11-night Copenhagen and Stockholm round trips next year. Destinations include the Norwegian fjords and overnights in St. Petersburg. And Princess Cruises Enchanted Princess will sail in the Baltic for the first time from March through to November 2022. Discover Qatar, the destination management division of Qatar Airways, has announced its first expedition cruise series, Whale Sharks of Qatar by Sea. The eight and ten night adventure cruises from March 24th to May 7th next year sail aboard Pono's 170 passenger Le Champlain. Qatar is home to one of the planet's largest aggregations of whale sharks. Every year, hundreds congregate in the Al Shaheen region, a restricted marine zone off the northeast coast. The trips will take advantage of Le Champlain Zodiacs to explore, as well as the ship's Blue Eye Underwater Viewing Lounge. The new series also highlights bird life and history and culture. And finally, cruise industry veteran Steve McLaughlin has joined Aurora Expeditions as Director of Sales Asia Pacific. McLaughlin, formerly Oceania Cruises VP Sales Australia and New Zealand, has also worked for Cunard, Pono, Lindblad and Orion Expedition Cruises. McLaughlin said he was attracted to Aurora Expeditions, a homegrown Australian business that has an exciting future with the upcoming delivery of its second purpose-built ship, the Sylvia Earl. Thanks again to the Port of Tarragona. Visit tarragonacruiseport.com to find out more about the gateway to the UNESCO World Heritage City and the Mediterranean and check out their video. Thank you for watching.